welcome to Cookie Fraction Math. And today we're going to be talking about what a fraction is, and we're going to start adding and subtract subtracting fractions. So a fraction is a part of a whole. And when you look at a fraction, your numerator is the number on the top, and your denominator is the number on the bottom. So if you look at what we have here, a delicious chocolate chip cookie, we originally had a whole cookie, and then we split it into two equal parts. So each half is one half of the whole cookie. Adding is when you combine two things and find the total. So we're going to do an example adding fraction problem, and we're going to act it out for you. So an example would be... Ashley has one whole cookie. Sarah gives Ashley half of her cookie. How many cookies does Ashley have now? One and a half cookies. So first, I had one full cookie, and then Sarah gave me one half of her cookie. So generous. And now I have a total of one and a half cookies. Another example of adding is a problem like we have here. You can see that the parts of the whole are the same size because the denominators are the same number. So because of this, all you have to do is add the numbers you have at the top. So you have 1 and 4. That gives you 5 over 8. Here's another example of an addition fraction problem. We have 1 fourth plus 1 third. In pictures, to help us solve it, we have one piece out of four pieces and one piece out of three pieces. But oh no, Sarah, four and three are not the same. How do we add across? Here's what you do, Anna. You multiply your whole fraction by the de denominator of the other fraction. So here, we multiply one by three and four by three because it's the denominator of this fraction. So this gives you three over 12. So for this one, multiply everything by 4. So that gives you 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So now you have a common denominator. Then all you have to do is add across your numerators. So this gives you 7 over 12. So over here in our pictures, you still have the same amount shaded in, but you have 1, 2, 3 pieces out of 12, which is over here. And for 4 over 12, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, out of 12 pieces, but it's still the same amount shaded in. And then over here, you combine everything, you have 7 pieces out of 12, which is your final answer. Okay, so now we're going to talk about subtraction. So first we talked about adding, so combining two different fractions, now we're going to talk about subtracting. So the definition of subtracting is to take an amount from a whole. So instead of addition where we were combining pieces of a whole, now we're going to be taking parts away from a whole. So we want to do an example problem, and the problem is 1 minus 1 thirds equals 2 thirds, okay? So 1 can also be written as 3 over 3. Why? Because you have, if you have 1 full, you have 3 of a total full 3 pieces. So now we can write this as 3 thirds minus 1 third. And knowing what we know about common denominators, and that you can also add straight across if you have a common denominator, you can also subtract straight across if you have a common denominator. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So now we have 2 thirds. In picture form, you can see we have one total circle, or we have three pieces that make up the whole circle. When we take away one third, we take away one piece, we have two pieces out of the whole circle that we had to begin with. If you look at our cookie, you can see we have a whole cookie, or we have three pieces out of the whole cookie. If I take away one third to give to Ashley, I have two, one, two out of the three total pieces that we had that makes one full cookie. Okay, so our next example um, subtraction problem is gonna be one half minus one third. But uh oh, we run into the same problem we did with the addition problem, that if you don't have the same common denominator, you can't subtract straight across. So what we need to do is we need to find a common denominator. So we need to make the number on the bottom the same on both sides, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply each fraction by the denominator of the other fraction. So we're gonna multiply one half by three thirds, and we're gonna multiply one third by two over two, okay? So three times 
times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, now we have that new fraction. And then we have 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6, and now we have that new fraction. So now we have two sixes on the bottom, which means we can um, subtract straight across now. So 3 minus 2 is 1, and you carry over the 6, so you have 1 six left. So 1 half minus 1 third, after getting a common denominator, is 1 six. You can also see this when you draw it out in pictures. So here we have one whole divided into two parts. And this gives you your half. So we have this amount, and then we have one whole divided into three parts, which is one third. So we're going to subtract this much. So once we find our common denominator here, this makes our picture look like this. So we have all our pieces out of six total. And so you have, you take your half, which is what you start off with. And then you have, here you found that one third is the same as two six. So you're going to erase two of your pieces here. And then look, you have one of your six pieces left, which is the same as your answer you got here, one over six. You can also see this problem using a cookie. So here we found our common denominator was six, like we did on the board. So we have six pieces of this cookie total. So if you have one half of your cookie, and then you're subtracting a third, that's your two pieces. So you're going to subtract that, and then you have one of your six pieces left. It's time for a wrap-up! Alright, let's go over what we learned. So we learned what a fraction is. It is a part out of a whole. So don't forget the top number, in this case x, is called the numerator. And then the y, in this case, is called the denominator. And we also learned about adding and subtracting fractions. So if you have the same number on the bottom on each part of the fraction, you can add straight across. So two-fifths plus one-fifths is equal to three-fifths. And that's the same for subtraction two. So two-fifths minus one-fifth is equal to one-fifth. Now, if you have different numbers on the bottom, you have to do that fancy thing where you get a common denominator. So in this case, you would multiply two-thirds by two over two, in this case you multiply